New details tonight about what went on in one of the many secret meetings in the hearings during the Jody Arias case. Tonight, we're seeing the transcripts from the day, the day that Arias told the judge she wanted everyone kicked out of the courtroom. William Pitts is live in Superior Court with the reasons that she gave. Will? Well, we've already gone over the reasons the judge closed the courtroom, and the Court of Appeals found that the judge was wrong anyway. What this transcript shows is what this trial has become, a social media monster that's attracted some pretty unstable people. Arias' mitigation expert told the judge a reporter for the Arizona Republic had reported a man at the paper sounding crazy, delusional. That reporter was Michael Kiefer. Security called him saying a man was desperate to see him. He'd been to the, to the various jails, and he'd tried to get in, they wouldn't let him in, and he needed to talk to me as if I had some connection that I could get him in to see Jody Arias. For safety, Kiefer says he notified the lawyers. There are apparently so many people trying to get to Arias, the lawyers can't keep track of them. In transcripts, prosecutor Juan Martinez refers to a guy with white hair and a hat. No, defense attorney Kirk Nurmi says, this is a different guy, a guy that came to his office. Then there are the tweets. The lawyers were following Twitter coverage of the case, even knew when the media called our lawyers based on tweets. Arias claimed tweets from court were causing her to be nervous to reconsider what she would say. By the same token, she has created a lot of the uh, social media uproar that, that has occurred and has been continuing to occur in this case. That's the same argument Martinez used, saying Arias can't be concerned about social media while she was tweeting during the first trial. Attorney Ulysses Farragut says what the court has to focus on is the trial, whether it's fair, nothing else. And that's the only concern the court has here. The problem is that you've got all these actors out there in the world that are impacting those basic core values. And that makes this trial unique. It's almost entirely playing out on Twitter. There's no video, no audio of this trial. As far as anyone can tell, it's the first major social media trial. This human necessity to turn everything into a question of good and evil. And then this, in, in, in a sense, has become a morality play. Played out 140 characters at a time. Not enough for nuance, just right and wrong. But court cases are more complicated than tweets. Now, so far in this case, we've already had a man arrested for threatening TV anchors. We've had trial watchers escorted out of court. There was even a fake lawsuit filed on behalf of Arias. The line the court has to walk right now is between the public's right to see this trial and the defense's right to a fair trial. Live in Phoenix, William Pitts, 12 News.